Hi, it's Mike with healthnewswires.com. Looking at genetically modified organisms today, taking a look at their role in uh, food and supplements, some of the health risks associated with them, and where they're found. So, um, surprising to me that uh, current estimates project 75% of the processed foods sold in the United States are, are uh, containing genetically modified foods. And given the fact that 60% of the population has little or no understanding of what G GMOs are, um, and that they're closely connected to food allergies, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease, um, this is probably a topic that we need to take a, a real serious look at. So what are GMOs? Um, according to the National Institute of Health, genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are any food source, including plants or animals, microorganisms, that have had foreign genes manually inserted into their genetic code. So kind of like what they used to do with cross-pollination or selective breeding, uh, those processes take, took hundreds, even thousands of years. Um, now they're doing it rather quickly and, and through science, technology, and, and man-made processes. So um, taking a look at GMOs, there's a lot of reported benefits, including the ability to produce large quantities of, of food. Some claim to be more nutritious. Others are claiming that's not the case. Um, the ability to create plants and animals that are resistant to disease and require less water and food, and an overall lowering of the cost of food production and the cost of food to consumers. Um, however, there are significant health concerns associated with GMOs, um, and these include increased resistance to pesticides and herbicides, um, some research has found that the top four produced crops, um, genetically modified crops, cotton, corn, canola, and soy, um, have been created to, to better withstand commercial pesticides and herbicides, um, and that leads to higher levels of, of toxins in the plants, which are eventually eaten by us. Uh, there seems to be an increased food allergy issue associated with genetically modified foods, especially with soy, and um, they're finding that genetically modified soy contains at least seven times the amount of a known allergen uh, when compared to traditionally grown soy. There are other reports that indicate um, microorganism sprays, bacteria sprays that are used to protect crops, have has shown to be um, damaging to the immune system and has been known to cause several issues of intestinal damage. Uh, there's also been issues of, of increased food allergies and um, a reduction in the amount of digestive enzymes created. So there are some pretty significant health concerns associated with them. Uh, a lot of supplement companies use GMOs in their product. Um, as fillers or flavor enhancers, uh, emulsifiers, things like that. And, um, you know, they use them in vitamins, amino acids, soy proteins, and digestive enzymes. Uh, fortunately, BioTrust Nutrition is one of the few companies on the market that avoids using any type of GMO. Uh, they use only the highest quality natural ingredients, uh, no antibiotics, no genetically modified foods. They, they, they don't use any artificial sweeteners, colors, preservatives. Um, for example, the picture you're looking at here is BioTrust low-carb protein blend that comes from cows that are not treated with any artificial genetically modified growth hormones. And uh, you know, the milk they produce is, is clear of that. The protein is high quality and the consumer gets a, a high-quality protein product free of any additives or genetically modified organisms. So um, take a look at genetically modified organisms, uh, their potential risks, and if you're looking for supplements that are high-quality, take a look at BioTrust Nutrition. Um, 
they're on the top of the market with with their products for uh, protein blends, um, digestive enzymes, probiotics, and leptin enhancing supplements. Thanks. This is Mike with Better um, Health Newswires.com. Take care.